What exactly are eels? How would you describe an eel, chat? I'm going snake monster. Do eels have testicles? Apparently this is a thing that nobody knows how eels have sex or how they reproduce like they, they just don't know like they just be spawning and shit. and I was gonna click it and I was like huh I want to watch this with my chat cuz maybe I'm just fucking dumb or some shit. Hey 42 here. Hi throughout history We humans have been drawn to the biggest of questions. Yes. Where do we come from? Is there a- Bruh, I don't think it's that- Maybe they, I, I'm pretty sure they just fuck, bro. I'm pretty sure they just have a little string that come out and you just stick it in them or some shit. God. There's no way nobody's seen an eel re have sex yet. Do we as a species have the capacity to overcome our differences and work together to build a better future for us all? And, of course, perhaps the most profound of these big questions. Do eels have testicles? Uh... Okay, so maybe I'm slightly overstating the importance uh, of that last one. The hunt for yo! gonads might not have quite the same scientific glamour. I never thought about the ball, like the, the, the now guys. I just thought about the money, you know what I'm saying? search for dark matter or a theory of everything. But oddly okay. enough, it's a question that's had a hell of a lot of attention over the years in the scientific community. I should just catch because, one and start as weird as it, it sounds, eels lack balls. Out. And I don't mean that in some vague idiomatic way. They don't get all weak at the fins at the thought of extreme sports or routinely back down from fights. Shit, you tell me yeah. they literally have they no balls. They literally boss. don't have testicles. But if that's the case, yeah, how, how do you get nut? Do they reproduce? Well, before we get on to that, what exactly are eels? How would you describe an eel, chat? I'm going snake monster. I'm talking water snake. The thing is, that's what I used to think, but when you actually see like a aquatic snake, it is way different and way scary. Like that, that shit is scary, bro. Whilst they kind of resemble an electric snakes snake, that have gone into hiding underwater on account of being so monumentally ugly. <laughs> the Fried in the a kind of fish, but for what? multitudinous okay. reasons. They're remarkably different to pretty much any other fish species. You but it looks like an alien. Care to mention? Take what? European freshwater eels, for example. They lack scales for a start and can okay. breathe air through their skin. That ability what? allows them to survive out of water for up to forty-eight hours and breathe air through their skin. These niggas is okay. See, this is what I be talking about. When you just learn about animals in your, your little cartoon books or books in school and the textbooks, like okay, that's cool, like a giraffe, uh, uh, elephants, they're cool. But when you like really think about seeing that animal in front of you, them shits is aliens, an octopus. That's an alien. My think about a giraffe, long. Extendo neck. The fuck is that? My nigga, does that mean LSK is an alien? Could be. They're Half. surprisingly nifty movers on flight. They can even climb. They hibernate in like the winter what? if it gets too cold by burying themselves in mud. A trick can they also in watch this video on how bacon is made. You're gonna make me hate bacon, aren't you? Ploy if the we'll ponds see. they're living in happens to dry out in the summer. They can live to almost 100 years of age. They're the blood poisonous. And they're also remarkably difficult to kill and will keep on swimming for hours even after you've cut off their heads what? thanks to a decidedly stubborn nervous system all oh, in all nurse, yeah. eels are pretty bloody odd and that's before we Nigga, even get aliens their troubling lack of testes so how does an animal without reproductive organs create offspring Believe it or not, this uh, conundrum has occupied some of humankind's most brilliant thinkers for at least a couple of millennia. Aristotle was probably the basically first water covered? to grapple no, with shrimp. it, but the great Greek philosopher and thinker was as perplexed as anyone else by the eel's lack of crown jewels. Them niggas OP? Still, nah. as the father of Western logic, <laughs> he did manage to come up with a- And that beard is fire. Imagine your age with a beard like those, chat. You know what I'm saying? That shit fire. Fittingly logical explanation. Eels don't have reproductive organs, according to Aristotle, just... because they don't reproduce. What? And if they don't reproduce, he reasoned, 
they must come to life through some other mechanism. Ultimately, he concluded they spawn. eels spontaneously come into being when rainwater mixes with mud. Not one of his finest uh, moments, that. Uh, but considering he basically invented science, I think we can give him a pass on this one. As you're no doubt aware, Eels are aliens that the government failed to hide from the eyes of humans. There's more things hidden in the ocean that we don't know about. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, do not tell show so, do not tell Solomonati about eels, bro. Do not tell Solomonati about eels, bro. Aristotle's influence on science loomed large long after his death. And for that reason, the belief eels came to life out of nothing was widely accepted as scientific fact for some 2,000 years. Though others did come along to put their own hypotheses forward Them as to exactly how the process the worked. Fuck. Roman author Pliny the Elder, who died in the aftermath of the fate. If, if their blood is poisonous, do, do does anything hunt eels? Does anything eat he, eels type shit? Like, like a live, like raw eel? Does it have any like predators and shit? We eat eels, but yeah, that's like cooked and all that shit. And I'm talking about like you see an eel swimming and just chomping on that motherfucker. Right. Some are immune. Oh yeah, you're probably right. Question at Mount Vesuvius that buried Pompeii in 79 AD. Believed eels came into being from the partially shed skins of other eels. Others My felt nigga, certain what? eels sprouted from sea foam. Was it that hard to get two eels and put them together and watch them fuck or some shit? Or just watch them over years to see what they do? Or they just kill each other? They, or they just not do anything? Or just get a bunch of eels like, I don't know, have a, have a daily camera on them and see what the fuck happens? Like, what is this shit? Or burst into life when sunlight hit open stretch. Like, so you're trying to tell me if you put two eels in a cage, another eel just gonna spawn? There's no way. Or in a big ass aquarium. Like, just have cameras on it 24 7. And if you see a fucking eel spawn one day, you go back in the footage and see how it spawned. Stretches of water in a. They smart, you dumbass. So the eel just gonna know, like, there's a camera on it, so it's not gonna reproduce? Wow, you so smart, Rage. Bro, this nigga said they are smart, dumbass certain way. The Scots thought eels started out life as beetles, and what? the English were convinced they were born when hairs from horse tails fell into river water. I know, I know, nobody comes out of this with much credit, but hey, those were simpler times. It took a while, but eventually, people began to question whether it was really possible for an animal to just come to life from nothing. After all, the very Bro. idea seemed to violate- It cannot be that deep. I, I, I refuse to believe it's that deep. The laws of nature mankind had slowly been uncovering in the millennia since Aristotle met his maker. I'm trying One to see man what- who could firmly be considered a skeptic was Sigmund Freud. And yes, I do mean that Sigmund Freud. You might be wondering what the most famous psychoanalyst in history has to do with mankind's hunt for eel ghoulies. And I'll admit, it is a little weird to see him crop up in this story. But then again, if you know anything about Freud, you'll mm. know the guy was absolutely obsessed with genitals. So the fact he was once interested in eel nuts perhaps shouldn't <laughs> come as much of a surprise. In 1876, when Freud was still an enthusiastic medical student at the okay. University of Vienna, he travelled to the city of Trieste in northeast Italy. A stone's throw away from the Like Josh for real. Nothing like me. I mean like Josh for real. Then again, if you know anything about Freud, you'll know the guy was absolutely obsessed with genitals. What do you mean like Josh for real? What about this is like Josh for real? I have a theory they have sex with themselves, but we don't know how they do it. But if it's that if it's that something we know don't we know other fucking organisms that fucking just fuck themselves and just reproduce on their own? So why is it this complicated for fuck motherfucking eels? We know other asexual fucking organisms. Medical student at the University of Vienna, he traveled to the city of Trieste in northeast Italy, a stone's throw away from the Slovenian border. The purpose of the trip was simple. Freud wanted to get something nobody else had ever had. Eel a nuts! A nice set of eel balls. <laughs> to that end, he I go like that's a flex. 
Oh my god, that's a flip. Bro, if nobody on planet Earth no seen eel balls and somehow you finesse you some eel balls out of an eel, then you're like rocking on like a chain or some shit. That's a flex. That's worth billions. That is the only that is literally one of a kind. Just founded, created. Nobody on planet Earth has never seen these before. That's a flex. Took himself down to the city's port each morning to meet the fishermen coming home with their catch. From whom he'd buy as many Yo, eels as he ew. could afford. Then he went back home to begin the dissections. Freud spent several months in Trieste, and it's thought he worked his way through as many as 400 eels during that time. The gory task seems to have gotten what to him fuck? too, because he sounded on the verge of losing his marbles in one letter to a friend, where he confessed, All I see when I close my eyes is the shimmering dead tissue which haunts my dreams. It's no wonder. Bro, this nigga searched through so many eel testicles, he started having nightmares, bro. But he decided to take his career in another direction not long afterwards. Especially when you consider all that hard work eviscerating eels hadn't brought. Hey, hold on. You heard that? Eviscerating eels, you know what I'm saying? Good night, Joshy Poo. It is 822, you square. What do you mean, good night, Joshy Poo? Wake the fuck up, you nerd. The real question here is that where did ocean life come from? Did they just spawn here? Exclamation mark gazer gazer j. Especially when you consider all that hard work eviscerating eels hadn't brought about the discovery Freud was hoping for. He'd found some interesting looking bits and pieces inside the abdominal cavities of several large specimens, but there was nothing he could definitively, conclusively claim to be an eel testicle. Freud Kay. had failed. Still, this nigga searched through 400 different eels for no fucking reason upon months and months. He was skeptical of the stories of miraculous the hell is that? origins, and 10 years later, in 1886, a breakthrough came. Let's go! French zoologist Yves Delarge had been keeping an odd leaf shaped marine creature known as a leptocephalus in a tank the in his lab for fuck several is that? months. When, quite unexpectedly, the strange little beast turned into something else entirely what the he shit had observed something that would change our understanding of Nigga, eels evolved. forever you see eels are metamorphic creatures and they go through six distinct stages in what can only what? be described as one hell of an odd life cycle. Olay, boy, they start out as leptocephali much like the one eve kept in his fish tank before Lepto, what the, how, how does a leptocephali spawn though? Before turning into transparent glass eels, glass eels become elvers, elvers become yellow eels, and yellow eels become silver eels, which are basically the Regular eels, eels endgame form. And yeah, that's a final evolution. Is, science had known about all of these individuals. And they've got like what? Four evolutions? Time. Five evolutions? Fishermen had been catching them, and people had been eating them since time immemorial. Come on. Fishermen had science had known about all of these individual animals for a long time. Fishermen had been catching them, and people had been eating them since time immemorial. That shit busts. I ain't gonna lie. Ew, I don't know what the fuck that is. It had always been assumed they were different species entirely. Nobody had ever realized they were, they were connected. All the They're all the same, same animal. Shit. Damn, these niggas. The eggs. Okay. So how do they fuck? Adult eel spawning. What the fuck? Okay. The eggs. The larva, it's like in the glass, the elver, the yellow, the silver. At different stages of its life cycle. Although Eve witnessed the metamorphosis firsthand, it took a decade or so for his discovery to be widely accepted. They rub, to, no. they rub against each other. So niggas said so they rub against each other. <laughs> it might be because it went against conventional wisdom, or maybe Yo, just that bro, horses, bro. Hold on, let's really, hold on. That might be horses are fucking units. Do, do they have any fat on them for real? Like, oh my god. Because it went against Look at this shit. It's conventional wisdom, or maybe just that people didn't take poor old. How you get that swole eating? What what if them niggas be eating? Hey! Too seriously. You see, he had a habit of making Grass and outlandish shit? statements. And in later life would famously claim to have calculated that the Turin Shroud, which some people believe is the fabric Christ was buried in after his crucifixion, had 
a 1 in 10 billion chance of being a fake. I'd really love to what? see you're working there, Eve. Anyway, Wait, what the it fuck? was with the Wait. discovery of this highly unusual How do we get to Jesus? that the missing piece fell into place to help science finally understand why eels She's like a bit blown up. Not because they spontaneously come to life from mud, not because they happen to be remarkably <laughs> energetic horse tails, but That's how about to grow at the top. they grow reproductive organs only when they need them in their final mature form. And you have to hand it to them. It does sound like a fairly sensible girl. system. The woman. Because, as any guy will tell you, when you aren't using them, genitals don't half get in the way. So, the one fuck? of the oldest questions in the animal kingdom had finally been put to bed. But, rather annoyingly, the answer brought with it a question of These bitch ass niggas got teeth because like that? The first stage of the eel's life cycle, the leptoencephalus, was leptoencephalus. a It was found only in the ocean which neatly explained why poor old Sigmund had never stumbled across so much of a sniff of a testicle during his 400 dissections. By the time eels reach their mature stage, which can take anything what if? from seven to 70 years, they've left our shores far behind. So that- What if they only reproduce during one of their stages of their life and the stage is not when they're in it? What if they reproduce when they're like a leptocephali and then once they further that stage of evolution, they can't reproduce? Mm, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good look. That could be a thing. Think about it. What if they can only reproduce during a certain time of their life and that's when they're a leptocephali and that's when they are like that, 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 that first stage. So when they turn into eels, there's no trace of it. There's no evidence. It's just like, yo. How the fuck are these niggas being born type shit? You know what I'm saying? No. By the time eels reach their mature stage, which is 400 dice right, right. from 7 to 70 years, they've left our shores far behind. So, that being the case, where exactly do all these millions of eels bugger off to each year? In 1904, Danish scientist Johannes Schmidt was asking this himself that Nobel very- Prize. Yorich set this experiment up and you got it. Wait, wait, what do you mean set this experiment up? Why you said it like they still don't know the answer to this? I'm, I'm getting an answer by the end of this fucking video, right? I'm getting an answer by the end of this video. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? This is a Nobel Peace Prize. I am getting it. I, I, I just said that because I thought that was going to be an answer at the end of this video. Very same question. Don't piss me off. Luckily, Schmidt was a doer. When he came across a question that left him scratching his head, he didn't just shrug his shoulders and go make a sandwich. He went out and found the answer, even if it meant dedicating his life to the task. Which okay. is why, over a period of some 19 years, Schmidt carried out the biggest survey of leptoencephali ever completed before or since. Huh. He was particularly interested in their size, and for good okay. reason. This is when they could fuck. As, as he slowly built up more and more data, he began to realize something. What? The closer he got to a certain point in the Atlantic Ocean, the smaller the leptoencephali he netted were, until, okay. eventually, they couldn't get any smaller. He'd found the eel's spawning grounds, what? smack in the middle of the Sargasso Sea. Not only was that rather fitting, because, much like the creatures who go there for a bit of sexual eeling, the Sargasso itself is a bit of an enigma. It was also a pretty staggering discovery because it meant European freshwater eels okay. were undertaking a previously unknown migration. Florida! Shut up, Florida! You know what I'm saying? South Florida right here. You know what I'm saying? South Florida, South Florida, you know what I'm saying? Of some 6,000 kilometers to have their young. The Sargasso is the only sea in the world day. that doesn't us. have a single land border. Shut the fuck up. It's clickbait. You only don't know about YouTube. Currents that completely encircle it on all sides. What? It's a sea within a sea, if you like. And its border currents act a bit like a plug hole for the Atlantic. What? That's why, as well as millions. What if they got disposable dicks and pussies that like fall off every time they nut and grow back when they ready to fuck? Oh my god. What if they do? Nah, but because by the oh, I don't know. Isn't this ironic? Alien eels meet up in Florida. 
No explaining this. What do you mean Elliot is made up in Florida? Today I fingered he while we make out so she moaned into my mouth and struggled to keep kissing me back lol. Perks of beings YRG sub, on god I'm not trolling either. That was one of the worst donations I've ever heard in my life. That shit was toxic. Ocean currents that completely encircle it on all sides. I ain't gonna lie, that's weird, bro. How it's they got an ocean in an ocean? A sea. a sea within a sea. Like, and its border currents act a bit like a plug hole for the Atlantic. That's fire. That's why, as well as millions of randy eels, it's also home to the North Atlantic garbage patch. Hundreds of square kilometers of ocean filled with rubbish. Jesus, nice one, this humans. is disgusting. Despite Schmidt's conclusions, which are still accepted today, nobody has ever actually seen eels mating in the Sargasso Sea. In fact, okay. even with all our fancy technology, nobody has ever seen eels in the Sargasso at all. Does you want to know why? I am right, chat. If you've never seen an eel in the Sargasso, and you only see the the, the, the the little pussy placenta fucking piece of shit, baby shits, the first evolution, that means they only reproduce when they're at that first stage. And after they reproduce, they go on, and the ones that they produce, reproduce, and then they go on, the ones that they put, they go on, they just evolve and keep going, bro. That's how, that's what it is. Despite the fact we're pretty confident millions of them make the journey there every nah. year. And You've never seen one, but millions go there, huh? Keeping with that somewhat patchy understanding of the behavior of our slippery friends, we don't really know how the tiny eel larvae born there make it the 6,000 kilometers back to Europe either. Their strange leaf-like shape is thought to help with drifting, but some researchers believe active swimming plays at least some part in the trip. We also don't know how long the journey takes, or even how long bro when they're at this stage they're just fucking crazy bro they're, they're just in their larval stage swallowing cum and just range from as little as six months what if they disperse cum with within their fucking like they they just just disperse the nut and the other ones absorb it through the skin and they just they, they just start birthing motherfuckers to as many as three years so yeah we may have found their balls but eels still seem to have plenty of other secrets hidden up their sleeves. Well, sleeve, I guess. We've mostly been covering freshwater eels in this video, but eels don't get any less weird, no matter which bit of the family tree you're looking at. So I'm not getting an answer? There are snipe eels that look a bit like- Snipe eels, what the fuck? Like nightmarish lassos. Slender moray eels. These shits are the ugly motherfuckers. That can grow up to four meters long. God damn and European congers that can weigh as much as 110 kilo European conger blows somebody out and what the eels shit is that depths depths of up to 3000 meters three and are a confusing mix of disturbing and cute kind of like what, 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 what was the cute part of that what might have happened if Nintendo had decided to turn Kirby into a horror franchise and then there are parasitic snub nose <laughs> eels these disturbing little living horrors use their powerful jaws to burrow into the bodies of larger fish, where they just make themselves at home. Something about this area is giving me the heebie-jeebies. That is disgusting. Uh, that is nasty. Typically, they can be found snuggled up alongside the spines of species like cod and halibut, but they've also been known to burrow directly into the abdomen of gravid fish, where they promptly devour thousands of unhatched eggs within the space of just a few minutes. In 1992, Fuck. two parasitic eels were even found to have made a cozy residence in the still beating heart of a 400 kilogram mako shark caught near Montauk in New York what? State. I should probably mention electric eels too. Yeah, Not because bro, that's, bro, these niggas dead got superpowers, bro. They got electricity. They can deliver an electric shock of close to a thousand volts. That's crazy. Can, because they aren't actually eels at all. What? They're a kind of knife fish. Bit of an embarrassing slip there, hey Simon. Nigga, what? Although not an especially uncommon one. Killer whales aren't whales. They're members of the dolphin family. I kind of knew that. I knew that. They're not really. They're not really killer whales. Like I knew that. But what the fuck? Uncommon one. Killer whales aren't whales. They're members of the dolphin family. American buffalo are actually bison. Okay, I kind of knew that. Are most closely related to martens.
Honey badgers are the most badass creatures on the planet. I'm not gonna lie, one of the most badass. And horny toads are in fact lizards. I know that. And I might add, no more desperate for sex than any other animal out there. Knife fish imposters aside, eels are some of the weirdest Among animals us? to ever have existed. Among us? But whilst there are still plenty of mysteries left to uncover about these strange and elusive creatures, we do at least finally know for sure that, yes, they do have balls. <gasps> I'm sure you'll all sleep you easier tonight. Show me where! Cleared up, which should give you plenty of time to vividly imagine a parasitic snub-nosed eel eating its way through your chest and taking up residence in your heart. The fuck? Thanks for watching. You can get your hands on my book, Stick a Flag in It, over on Amazon or on Audible. Links to both in the description below. Thank you. You're welcome. That's crazy, though. Chat, we got to do more Animal Planet shit. I like that. Plugs don't touch. Bro, why don't I have my answer, bro? they never seen them fuck to this day. It is 2021. Get with the program, science. You're behind. Said I'm on three plus right now, if I'm being honest. Hope my feelings shoot out like a rocket. Niggas thought they had the swag, but I'm really honest. Look at you just window shopping that new bag I bought.